You, Charles Rhodes Jr., are fired. You've stolen from me, and you've betrayed me. The end of last season was sort of the first season where you see Chuck and Axe on their backs. But always with the show, there are shifting alliances. Season four explores loyalty, revenge, and honor amongst thieves. Get with it or get fucked, people. At the beginning of this season, we find Axe increasingly paranoid. You gotta pick sides. Taylor Mason has set up their own shop. It's like one of your chicks leaving you. You bring them up, you rear them, and then they fly the coop. Find me people with no fear. As much as Taylor would like to be out of Axe's line of fire, can I trust you on this? They certainly are not. Taylor must pay completely. Chuck in the season feels liberated by getting fired, and so he's starting over again. I've coaxed the genie back into his bottle. But he sort of wants to get back into the real game. I need your assistance. Chuck and Axe have found that their worlds have started to collide. Last time you were a lawman, it wasn't so good for me. This time it'll be different. You sure about that? It's like two tigers in the zoo. They get along, but they could go after each other still. As a team, the three of us can sort of take down anybody we want to take down. The street's going to start wondering if you care more about revenge than making money. He's either going to take them out or take me out. I want to see for myself. I would slap your face and tell you to act like a man if I didn't think it'd turn you on. I think it's a step into power and another level of ruthlessness. I know what you're doing, and I'm here to tell you don't. Uh -huh. The scripts are unexpected, exciting. Revenge is there. Money is there. Motherfuckers. Don't sugarcoat it. It's all up here, but it gets really twisty and dark. Whatever you say, amigo.